Hello, I'm Jared from Shaping the Silence, and in this video, we're going to finish up the MIDI dance pad. Now, at the end of the last video, I was wasting my time sticking some panels on there to try to make it look better. It did not look better. So instead, I have opted to remove all that and put on some vinyl wrap, and it looks much sharper. I think you'll agree. Anyway, let's get on with the build. Hey, Wolfie, what do you got there? Oh, no, no, no. Give me that back. Where'd the corner piece go? Did you eat it? Oh. Ah, 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 ah. After a bit of wrestling, I did get it back. He's very disappointed, though. Now that I have these trim pieces completed, we can go ahead and paint them, glue them to the frame, and then they should hold these LEDs in place quite nicely. Let's see how it goes. So I have the dance pad done, some code uploaded to it, courtesy of my brother, thank you Zach. And now I'm going to try playing some Step Mania with it, see how it works. It currently works outputting joystick commands, so now I just gotta program it to output MIDI and give it a try with my music software. It's so cute. It's not fair. Now, as you can see here, I have dishes that are not done, but more importantly, I have the dance pad that is completely done. I spent a good hour or so talking to my brother on the phone. He did most of the code for me. Thank you, Zach, I really do appreciate it. He explained to me how to add in my own animations. He did most of the work on it though. But now I have it connected to Logic, which plays a piano when I step on the different pads. And it also makes a cool animation on each pad that I step on. So it's got this fading animation. When I step on it, it does this extra bright kind of swirling animation, so. Now I can play MIDI notes off of here. Hey buddy. Oof. I know I got some requests for the fog machine to be in the next video, however, I don't think I'm going to be able to, as I have a couple things broken on it. This has been sitting around for a few years. It has a cracked hose here, and I just need to open the thing up and start fixing it. After opening this thing up and giving it a look over, I think the only thing wrong with it is the tube that's broken on here. So I think I'll just order one of those and see how it turns out when it gets here. So while I was at the hardware store, I actually found the tube I needed for this thing. And while I was at it, I got some adapters to convert this nozzle to the right size to fit in my dance pad. So I can now plug this thing in and get it going. Now, let's hook it up to the dance pad, see how it looks. The sun's out right now, so it's not ideal conditions, but let's see how it looks. All right, that's something. Not super impressive right now, <laughs> but we'll, we'll keep working on it. While I was at the hardware store, I got the final pieces for the dance pad. So these are going to be used to build the support bar in the back of the dance pad. That way I have something to lean against so I don't lose my balance and trip over myself. At least so that I minimize that. Hey buddy, you need me to hold you? Anyway, let's go get this thing done. Okay, time to take the dance pad and start setting it up in my room so I can practice. Oh no, that's that's not gonna work. Now, as it usually goes when I try cleaning my room, I got caught up organizing stuff and running some wires and sleeving some cables and anything else I could do to not clean the room. But eventually I got there. Look at that, oh, so pretty. Now at this point, I have everything on breadboards connected with DuPont cables, which is fine for prototyping, but bad for production because first off, it looks bad. Second off, inconsistent connections. At first, I thought it would be a good idea to make a custom circuit board, but then I decided against that because it was taking too long. So I'm using this strip board instead, which makes it quite a bit faster to build and a solid connection for all my components.
As you can see, I finally got the main circuit board done, so now I don't have to worry about having all of the wires and the mess that I had with my prototypes. On the main board, I have a couple components. Up here, we have the touch sensor that reads all of the panels. Right here, we have the main processor. Here, we have things that will read the inputs from the MIDI blaster. And right here, we have the light controller that will control my main stage lights. It's a whole lot cleaner. It should be fewer problems. So let's install it. Here's my first attempt with the main board and it doesn't appear to be working very well. That's much better. Here's the original drawing that started off this whole quest to make this live performance stage. And here's the task list that I made a while back. Now I haven't updated this thing in a couple months, so I'm going to just make a new one from scratch and see where we go from there. The dance pad, we have created it. It has been integrated into the system, but it does need to be polished. There are a few details that are not quite done with it. In the next video, I plan to integrate the MIDI blaster into the system, and I'm going to get the lights connected to the dance pad so that we can start testing that out. And I'll get started on setting up a live performance. So hopefully I'll be able to show you what it looks like for me to play a song using this whole setup in my next video. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I appreciate having you on board. If you appreciated the video, please be sure to let the YouTube overlords know by hitting that like button. I'll leave a comment below letting me know what you think so far. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. My upload schedule is inconsistent, so those notifications will come in handy. If you want to support what I'm doing, all I ask is that you share this video and check out my music on whatever streaming platform you prefer. Links in the description. Anyway, love you all. Bye.